All right, so once again, we're messing around with some mics, trying to get some lo-fi, funky, dirty goodness. So all of these techniques came from Ryan Earnhardt over at the Creative Sound Lab. If you haven't seen his videos before, I highly recommend them. If you enjoy recording and like what I do with drums, then you'll love his channel. Everything he does is so unique and creative. So his channel is linked down below and is definitely worth checking out. But actually, he gave me this thing a garden hose reverb yeah so that is just one of the things we'll be checking out today so let's get into it first up is this thing a sound level meter as you can guess this is used to measure sound but interestingly this one has an output so we can essentially use it as a mic Next up we have the sympathetic tom mic, or at least that's what I'm calling it. I have this tom about 3 feet in front of the kit, and behind that is this Lewitt LTC 440 Pure, and then I'll throw this towel over top of it to block out some of the sound coming in from the side. A bigger one would probably be better, but this is all I have on hand.
And last is the Garden Hose Reverb. If you want to see how to make this, I'll link to Ryan's video, but all we have to do is shove an SM57 on the inside. And also, he had the end taped off, but I found I got a better sound with it removed. So now, let's hear some of that moist garden hose sound. So all three of these techniques were very interesting. On the sound level meter, I didn't realize this until it was too late, but the battery got pretty weak by the time I got a good take, so I did have to bump the gain in post, but the color of the sound coming from the meter is so different than a normal mic, which of course is what makes it so unique. On the tom mic, I loved the snare sound, and in the context of the track, it really adds another layer of texture, but with solo drums, it kind of just sounds like you forgot to add a noise gate to the rack tom track. And the garden hose was probably the hardest for me to get a decent sound. I moved the mic around a bunch, I moved the hose around, I capped off the end, I opened it back up, I put a blanket over the mic, I tried everything. But with the mic behind the kit facing the left, I got a pretty decent sound. But even still, it was picking up just crazy amounts of low end. So basically, I had to cut out all of the low end in the kick drum mic, or else the sound was just way too crazy. So yeah, those were just three random lo-fi mic techniques that I've been wanting to try out. Again, if you want to see more about these, I'll link to Ryan's channel where he does a better job demonstrating and explaining than I did. But as always, let me know which was your favorite in the comments, and if you like this type of video, be sure to like and subscribe. But that's all I got for this one. Thanks for watching.